Hello everybody, and welcome back to part 3 of Let's Play Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Today, we are going to be unlocking an interesting zone, and assuming we can get over to the other side. And as I was saying yesterday, this is probably one of the, one of the harder ways of actually getting here. Uh, the hidden behind the block is this door. I'm just gonna go through for good measure. And this area, you can get a very special power-up in this area that you can only get in specific parts of the game. And the power-up is extremely overpowered, but uh, it's really easy to lose, and it disappears if you go to the overworld. I'm just gonna call my friends here. Yeah, don't go up there, you wanna go over here. Get rid of those blocks. Alright, I actually want this power-up because it makes this part easier. Uh, basically, you drop a bomb there, and then it will open the gate here for you. Now, as you can see there, there's an enemy just stuck in the wall there. That is the UFO power. Now, you've got the laser beam, you've got regular shot, you can charge the shot, and then you've got your super mega shot that even goes... Nope, no there. You've got your super mega shot that even goes through walls. And that destroys all kinds of bricks. The one problem with the UFO is you don't touch the ground, so you can't break these blocks. But you can fly. So basically, yeah, you've seen these blocks earlier. Oh, damn it, don't want to lose that. Uh, those blocks can basically be destroyed with the UFO's mega charge shot. I'm not going to deal with it, though, because I don't need to go that way. Now, as you can see, you can't return from this way. Oh, wow. Uh, what you saw up there was the crash bomb, this thing here. Anybody who's played a Kirby game knows those things are annoying as hell. So basically you can just fly over all that though with the UFO power. Now if I had gone to the door that was blocked off by these things, I would have had to have fought that boss and would not have gotten the UFO power. I believe there's another cry- oh no. Here I will get a show off the first time ever destroying these blocks. Now the UFO fully powered up can destroy these blocks. Now basically if you had gone the other way, you would come up right here. And now we're in an interesting zone. This tile set is used in very few sections of the game, and this is one of the few sections. Chip. Now these are interesting blocks here, because they can be destroyed, but only some of them. And only specific ones. For instance here, I have to fully charged up. And it just goes through and destroys them. It makes this section a lot easier, especially if you have the UFO power. It just destroys these blocks. Oops. Being impatient. But sadly, we're actually going to have to get rid of our UFO power here. To get another power that we have not seen in the game yet. It's right here. Oops. It's the, loser. the mini power. Oh, don't want to disturb him. Oh, wow. Yeah, hopefully he responds. I don't think he responds. Oh, he does. Hooray. Alright. Now we have a mini. Hopefully I don't die. Now as you can see, there's a tiny pathway here, but we can't travel through there as a regular Kirby. Now, this is the part that's annoying. If you get trapped here, you have to go through the door. Alright. Ow. What's hurt? Oh. One of my allies used the uh, power that we have not received yet. Now, as you can see, the mini power disappears as, so as soon as you go through a door. Yeah. And you never actually have to use the mini power to get anywhere in the game. Mm. Um, I'm running out of things to say. Uh, here's a mini boss that we've not seen yet either. His name is Box Boxer. And he is really irritating, really, with any power to fight, because he just does that, and he picks you up, and he hurts you. Ow. Uh. Wow. I'm sucking at this boss. I don't normally do this bad. Normally I can actually do him without getting hurt once, although the allies do make this a bit harder. Hmm. Oh, one of them died. There you go, see the death animation there of your allies? I want to keep some of my allies alive, or not. He's not doing any of his attacks where I can kill him. Okay, there we go. Or hurt him, at least. At least I have one ally, because we get to show off the warp star up here. 
assuming he comes up here. Now, you can have all four allies go on to the Warp Star with you. And it looks kind of interesting. But, we are now coming to a new zone in the game. Probably one of my, you could say, least favorite zones in the game. Oop. Ugh, gotta come up here and get a specific power. The rock power. We have not used this yet. Now, in other Kirby games, you get to transform into awesome things. This one, you just get to transform into a rock. And here is the CD player. You can find CD discs littered around the game, and you can listen to them. The rock rolls down hills, though, which is cool. Uh, now, if you come up here, you will find sleeping guys. The sleeping power is useless. This is all it does. Doesn't heal health, doesn't do anything. It just makes you fall asleep. And here, we have unlocked another zone. There is the space zone. Space! And it's upper right corner there. Now, to get to the final boss, it's to the right there, but we don't want to. We want to go to the overworld. And we have one, we have two, three, four, five. We have five more zones to unlock, plus this one here, which is a special zone, which uh, you will see much later. When I Once you have unlocked every single entrance, the door up there appears. Alright, and we are going to unlock this spot here. Which means we have to come in here. And let's go in here. Let's take the fighter power. Let's go over here. Scarfy. Stupid Scarfy. Alright, and we will finally fight this mini boss in here. Who is Big Boxer again? Or Box Boxer? Now. Basically, we're fighting him with his own power, which is useless, so... Oh, whoops. I kind of wanted to suck that out. Oh, no. Oh, missed. Ow. Oh. This is a weird boss. He, he has really nothing to do with anything in this game, although none of the enemies do. It's a dog's face with feet. That's all he is. Apparently his ears have hands on them. It's weird, you can suck up the charge shot. Mm. Yeah. This game actually has four player capability. You can you can play multiplayer in this game, which is unique to a Kirby game. Because generally it's one or two players. Wow, walked right into that. It is kind of cheap. In this level, you can actually stand all the way over here and attack him. And not have to worry about anything. If you have an ability that lets you. But you also get stuck if you don't. Like that. Or run away. Invincibility frames for the win. Charge shot. This boss is taking way too long. Punch. He's punching you with his ears. Oh god. Jump right into him. Wow, am I really gonna lose this boss? Apparently. That was pitiful. Oh, that was close. Almost like Scrappy. I'm not gonna fight the boss now. Majority of the bosses in this game are a lot easier to fight with powers. Yeah, and that is one of them. But only specific powers, because really, a lot of powers make it actually harder to fight that boss. Like, using the fight power, because you have to be close to him to actually uh, hit him with the power. Whereas, uh, like other ones, like the UFO, for instance, you can just you can stand on the other side of the room and just wail on him. Alright, this is taking way too long. Oh well, I lost my power, I won't need it in the water. These things are weird here, these C and M things, the glunks. Some of them actually shoot projectiles like that one there. And here's a door over here that we have not been into. And look at that, it leads straight to a button. As you can see, we have now have only four more dots that have not been connected on the map. So we will come up here. And we will actually go through the zone. Because it's the only way currently to unlock this one zone. 
Rah. Scarfies. Stupid leaves. Ah, oh, lost my power already. Keep going. Spark, I choose you. Ah, uh, the Waddle Doo is actually better power here. Alright. As you can see, this is the sixth zone, all of ocean. This is the place that we're coming to unlock. That was a little pre. Oh, actually, we're already in the all of ocean. That's whatever it is, some other name. Wow. Apparently, I didn't kill you, Waddle Doo. Apparently, I jumped right into the bat. Wah. Parasol! No, I want the power. Hurrah. Ah. Jump over the cannons. Can't, jumping into cannons hurts you, apparently. Um, I believe we want to go down here. Ah, uh, you gotta outrun the cannons here, or that happens. And, us. Uh, pranked, sir. Snooty. Uh, if we'd gone the other way, we could have come out there, I believe. And we want to come this way. Oh, I already picked it up, friendly. Over here, there's a life. Oh, uh, well, I'll just suck you up then. Give my power back. Kill the snooter. Oh, that thing always gets me every single time. I have no idea why. And over here. Eh, yeah. alright. We are actually going to get our very first spray can, I believe, over here. I'm just going to let this guy suck me up. I don't know if that hurts you or not. I didn't check. Uh, we need to remove this out of the way. And push that down there, and then re-suck this up. And then we come over here, and we have obtained our first spray can. Our first of many spray cans. Uh, so what spray cans do is you can spray Kirby into the color that you so choose. And there's over 10 colors, I'm not entirely sure uh, which ones are which. I believe there's a Max Tomato up here. Oh, there's absolutely nothing. Could have sworn there was an item up there. So, do some exploits here. Uh. Yeah, because you're not supposed to be able to jump. Oh, we can show off the, the, the crash power for the first time. This is a fun power. It's basically like the mic power in the old Kirby games. It does the exact same thing, and we chose the wrong path. But we get to have fun with the wheel again. I didn't show off, but you can actually jump with the wheel, like this. Well. Ugh. Don't you dare hit me, wheel. Don't you dare hit me. Okay, there we go. And we got a max tomato on that, too. Wonderful. And you can go. You can actually go on the water with the wheel. It's always fun to play around with the wheel. Oh god! If you turn on the water, though, it uh, does stop the wheel power from working. And we get to show off our first ever one of these rooms. This is a dwarf star room, but it's very special because there's kind of a mini game incorporated with it, where you have X amount of time in the lower right there to collect as many items as you can. Generally, you just do these for the one-ups. Uh, yeah. oh, there we got two out of that. We now nine lives. Yay, Kirby Victory Dance. Your allies will, unless you're in multiplayer, your allies will never enter those rooms. But we are actually going to go back to this area. Because I went the wrong way. Huh. The real power is useless here, but I will use it anyway. Whoa. Oh, damn it. Oh, wow. I was doing good there, and then I screwed everything up. Oh, what'll do? You'll have to do. Beam. Jump into the bat. That's the second time I've done that. Where do you waddle these? And oh god. And we'll go up here now. Now the other path we took went down there, as you remember. Oh, whatever sword power it is. We are now over here. There's the knight that hurt us. And then there's the path down there that we were on. Now, we're in a new zone. The sword I, is the first power that we've received so far that we can use under the water. And then I just instantly lose it. Wow. 
no idea what I was doing there. Why did the ability not work there? I have no idea. Yeah, Kirby has this weird, weird, I don't know, I don't know, button system where the buttons don't always register. I think it's just the controller. But I had the same issue when I played on my Game Boy. So I'm not sure really. No. Now this part is a pain because they somehow managed to make underwater sections really difficult in this game. Oh, and there's a new boss up there that we have not fought yet. His name is Boxy. And he spits presents at you. If you leave the presents long enough, he will, um, they will turn into something, as you can see here. Sometimes it'll be food, sometimes it'll be a bomb like that. Oh god. Jump right into him. Oh, that was, that was food that time, and then I got hit immediately. But generally it's just safer to hit the, uh, you can get power-ups out of the boxes, actually. Uh, but it's best just to pick them up and shoot them at them. It does more damage. Alright. He's got the present that way. Whenever he jumps up and down like that, oh, that was nothing, apparently. It was air. Um, when he jumps up and down like that, it means that he's, he's going to charge after it. So basically, he gives us an extremely special power, one that we have not seen anymore, called magic. Oh, and that's what I was talking about with the people in the cannons. We're not actually going to take the cannon this turn, though. We're not cool enough. Uh, basically, this is what the magic power does. Um, that one turns all enemies into food on screen, there's one that turns all enemies into one-ups on the screen, and there's one that gives you a random power-up. The bomb is actually quite a useful power here. but bombs have interesting physics when it comes to water. As you can see. Yes. Uh. Oh yeah. Now, this part, you just want to destroy this first one here, and then you leave the second one alone. Because basically, if you leave, if you throw him down there, he uh, basically fires cans into here. And here's a little bit of a maze, and there's a max tomato there if you need it, if you want if you want to take the uh, risk. Sword Knight, we're gonna enter this door. This area. This is, this is kind of one of the kind of jerk move areas if you've never played the game before, because as soon as you pick this up, fish will appear. And uh, that only happens twice in this area. Uh, there doesn't have to be an item there for them to do that, though. Now here, you have a path. Well, you don't really have a path. But as soon as I pick this up, three fish appear on that side, one on that side. Uh, up here. Oh, this part's always fun. Oh, I want that item. Um, god, I hate the, uh, the droopies there. That guy there will steal your power up and become it. But this part, when you break this, everything becomes water and it kills everything. Which is nice. And here's the laser power up if you want it. I don't want it. Get out of there. I need to go that way. Mm. Oh, he's out of the way now. He will only fire in one direction and he will never switch direction, which is nice. Um, we'll have to come back this way because there's a chest here. And by destroying the blocks over there, uh, it instantly creates blocks here that uh, you can only... So basically you have to come back this way. And over here, we've unlocked uh, all of Ocean. I'm not actually sure what this area is called. Uh, this area is called... All of Ocean, actually, apparently. Alright. And... Yeah, and on that note, we will be ending part 3 of Let's Play Kirby. Thank you for watching.